All right, so latest update. Our flotilla has been canceled because our flotilla leaders cannot sail from wherever they are to us because the coast guard stopped them. So basically people in Turkey aren't allowed to sail. Only um, tourists like us are allowed to sail. So basically me and Derek are alone, all by ourselves. <laughs> so we're going to follow the sailing itinerary by ourselves. All alone. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> sleep because we have decided to sleep separately <laughs> because it's quite claustrophobic in here so if me and Derek were to sleep Derek would be here and I would be here and it just feels <laughs> feels claustrophobic I'm like ah <laughs> okay <laughs> To run your stern lines to shore, you will need a reliable and efficient dinghy. Ours was neither, nor was it built for adults. Due to its size and limited capabilities, we called it Dwarfy. This operation needed to be executed quickly to ensure the boat doesn't swing and was a source of great entertainment and concern for our nearby neighbors. Besides tasty fresh fruits, meats and cheeses, we stocked up on beers, wine and water and soft drinks were always offered as gifts. Free delivery to the yacht was a great help, much appreciated and always exactly on time. To top up on any essentials, you could also chase the Migros boat and do some shopping there. Once they saw that Dwarfy was hopelessly inefficient and completely useless in 15 knots of wind, 
they realized it might take us an hour to get there. So after a good laugh and much pointing, they sent their boat to fetch Nix, allowed her to shop, and then returned her safely back again. For luxuries like ice cream, we relied on the ice cream guy for his daily visit and friendly chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, super. Once the veggie guy realized that the smallest yacht in the bay had the nicest people on board, he would supply us with fresh bread, eggs, and vegetables. He also wanted to know if our boat was built for one. The bay and surrounding areas are breathtakingly beautiful and it was great to slow down, stop and enjoy in our own time. But we came here to sail. Next door. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish coffee and chocolate and water. <laughs> oh dear Nixie. Again. Animals are extremely well looked after and efforts shared by council, community and the new South African in town. While Nix did her bit by sharing love, attention and cuddles, the area is set up with water fountains, feeding bowls and kennels. For the humans, there are other activities to enjoy.
What's it doing? Making us lunch. <laughs> Who's sailing? <laughs> I don't know. The sails are trimmed. The sails are balanced. What's around your neck? The compass. <laughs> Which I've only learned how to read. Use properly today. <laughs> That's around your neck. So I know in which direction we're going. <laughs>